We all want to do something that matters. What do you want in a career? A quality manager at our company rushed his wife to the emergency room. He looked over and saw the IV system that was keeping his wife alive. Then it struck him. That IV system was made of components that he personally approved. That's when you realize the impact of your work and that there's no such thing as good enough. Let's start at the beginning. It takes a team to bring this product to market. A program manager, a mold designer, a machinist, a CT engineer, and a plastics engineer. Here you'll meet these young, experienced professionals who are critical to making this product, and you'll learn about possible career opportunities for your own future. Let's start with the program manager. That's my role. I'm Ryan. I am the connection between our customer and the company. It's my job to ensure that products are made correctly and on time. I oversee the design, build, and quality of molds that make products like this check valve. It feels good when I walk around stores and see things that were made from molds that I helped build. Then I realize how many people we're reaching. Now let's go to mold design. I'm the chef. I'm a mold design engineer and a simulation analyst. I've always noticed how plastics are being used by every person on the planet every day. And then I found out that mold making and injection molding is at the very heart of the plastics industry. I was excited by the opportunity I was going to get to work on a broad range of products. Not only do you need to be highly skilled, in fact, you need a wide variety of skills like math, science, communication, computer skills in order to be successful as a mold design engineer. I have two key roles. I am a mold design engineer and a simulation analyst. As a simulation analyst, I use computer software to simulate how plastic is going to flow through the mold. And as a design engineer, I design molds for the same parts. Next up is machining. I'm Keen, and I'm a CNC machine operator. What brought me to manufacturing was the ability to use advanced technology. What keeps me here is the fact that it's ever-changing. My job is a crucial step in making properly working medical devices. By collecting the correct cutting tools and putting it into the right machine, I ensure that a good mold is made. I ended up in manufacturing uh, after attending college for a couple years, or directly after high school, and it just wasn't for me. Uh, there was a job opening at Nipro Mold. Um, I applied, I got in with onboard training, and here I am now. The coolest part of my day is I get to work hand in hand with robots. And now, over to metrology. I'm Ryan Bergeron, a CT engineer in metrology at Nipro Mold. Industrial CT is similar to medical CT. It gives you the ability to look inside the part without physically destroying it. My job is exciting because I get to take part in saving lives every day. In order to prepare for this role, I earned my Bachelor's of Science degree in Industrial Technology. At the end of the day, I help determine if this check valve passes or fails. And now, on to processing. So this whole time, we've been talking about what it takes to design and construct a mold. Well, here's a finished product. My name's Amber, and I'm a plastics engineer, and we're going to talk about what happens with these molds once they get them to a machine. So what we do when we run the machines, we take these plastic pellets and we melt them down in the machine and we inject them into the mold and we end up with a finished product. I have a bachelor's and a master's degree in plastics engineering. I started an internship here at Nipro when I was a freshman and I never left. What I love about my job is the variety of things I get to do every day. Some days I'm at my desk doing paperwork, other days I'm down here on the floor running machines all day long. And what's really great about it and really fun is it's kind of like a big puzzle What's the best way and the fastest way to make really good parts every single time? I would say that molding is fun, it's engaging, and it's really fulfilling. One of the best things was when I was looking through a magazine one day, there was a medical device on one of the pages. And when I noticed what it was, it was one of the first products that I worked on when I started here at Nipro as an intern. And that's one of the greatest things is saying, hey, I had a hand in making that part. Next up is the final step in the process, assembly. Hi, my name is Tim Baird and I'm a project engineer. So when I was in high school, I participated in the FIRST program, which partners up high schoolers with different companies that do engineering. And I found through there that I love doing engineering and I went on to go to college for mechanical engineering and now I build automation and robotics here at Nipro. The best part of my day is the diversity. I'm always working on something different and it's never the same thing twice. 
During the production of the check valve, I primarily work on robotic tooling like this, which takes the molded component out of the mold, places it onto the conveyor belt for cooling, where it then goes on later for quality inspection. It's great to know that I'm contributing to patients' health. For that one employee, this product meant the difference between life and death. We make millions of parts every year contributing to healthcare for patients around the world. Our work saves lives. Mold making matters.